This video lesson has two parts. On this video, I am going to discuss objectives 1 and 2. Understand the metric system and approximate length, volume, and mass. On part 2, I am going to discuss objectives 3 and 4. In my previous video lesson about measurements, I discussed the English system as well as the measures of time and temperature. Now, we are going to talk about the metric system, also known as the SI system. International System of Units Why is it SI if it is international system? It is because it came from this French word. Pardon me, I do not know how to speak French, but here you will see SI. It is the international standard for measurement. Majority of the countries in the world uses SI. SI is based on metric system. It is the modern MKS. While metric system has three base units, SI has seven base units. Here are the seven base units of SI system. We have the length, the weight, time, current, temperature, luminous intensity, and amount of substance. Since SI is based on the metric system, we will focus our discussion on the metric system. As I mentioned a while ago, metric system is a system of measurement that uses three base units meter, liter, and gram, for length, capacity, and weight respectively. It was developed for very small and huge numbers. Calculation is easy with metric system because it uses a base 10 and fractions are expressed in decimal notation. Prefixes made conversions easy too. Let us have the first one, meter. It is the basic unit of length in the metric system. Length measures the distance. It tells how long, how high, how wide, or how deep. Here are some instruments used in measuring length. Ruler for 12 inches and shorter length. Meter stick for longer length, like measuring the floor of your house. Dressmakers use measuring tape for making clothes. This one is commonly used in construction. And this one is odometer. It measures the distance traveled by vehicles. We can also convert metric system to English system and vice versa. Here are the common conversions used. If you want to convert inch to centimeter, simply multiply the given value in inch by 2.54 because 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. 1 foot is equal to 30.48 centimeters. 1 yard is 0.91 meter, 1 mile is 1.61 kilometers, 1 meter is 39.37 inches, also 3.28 feet, and 1.09 yard, and 1 kilometer is equal to 0 0.62 miles. Do you have any idea how long 1 meter is? Here are some good approximations of 1 meter. A walking cane a guitar, and a baseball bat. So these are approximately 1 meter in length. How about decameter? 1 decameter is equal to 10 meters. The width of the court in lone tennis for doubles measures 10.97 meters, close enough to 1 decameter. There are also buses that measures 1 decameter long. Next is hectometer. One hectometer is equal to 100 meters. The length of a football field is a good estimate of one hectometer. The length of Olympic-sized swimming pool is 50 meters. So twice of this length is equal to 100 meters. Next is kilometer. This is equal to 1,000 meters. A long step of an adult is approximately one meter. So 1,000 long steps is equal to 1 kilometer distance. When you are walking on a flat surface with no hurdles, 1 kilometer is approximately a 12-minute walk. To give you an idea of a 12-minute walk, this is the distance from the monument of Dr. Jose Rizal at Luneta Park to National Museum of Fine Arts. Now let us talk about the smaller length. 1 decimeter is equal to 1 meter divided by 10 equal parts. I took a picture of my ruler to show you a decimeter. From 0 to this point is 1 centimeter. 
10 times of 1 centimeter, that is from 0 up to here, is 10 centimeter. And that is equal to 1 decimeter. I measured one side of our tasty bread. Let's take a closer look. And this is about 1 decimeter long. The length of a crayon is a good estimate too. Though a bit short, it can still be considered as a good approximation for 1 decimeter. Let's get a smaller centimeter. 1 centimeter is 1 meter divided by 100 equal parts. Here again is my ruler to show you 1 centimeter. So from 0 up to this point is 1 centimeter. I measured one of my paper clips here and it is almost 1 centimeter wide. This one is a staple wires for a small stapler and it is also about 1 centimeter in length. Now let us have millimeter. 1 millimeter is equal to 1 meter divided by 1000 equal parts or 0 0.001. This is a very small measurement. Take a look at my ruler here. From 0 to this first line is 1 millimeter. 10 times of 1 millimeter is 10 millimeters. And this is again equal to 1 centimeter. Ever wonder what object will measure this small? I got my ID and measure its width. Viola, it is 1 millimeter thick. Eight pieces of bond paper, which is substance 20, is also about one millimeter thick. Another base unit of the metric system is the liter. Let me define first volume and capacity. Volume measures the amount of space a container or an object occupies. Capacity is the amount of space in an object that can be filled. Quite confusing, right? Consider this aquarium. Capacity is the amount of water inside the aquarium. We don't fill the aquarium up to this level. Otherwise, the water will overflow and the fish might jump out. We have a clearance for the level of water. The space that we can fill up with water is the capacity. Volume is the amount of the water and the space left of the aquarium. So volume is the total space of this aquarium. Volume and capacity are sometimes used interchangeably because of the insignificant difference in its amount. Once again, volume is the amount of space a three-dimensional figure occupies. Consider this hollow rectangular prism. Capacity is the amount of space a three-dimensional figure can contain. I have here three cubes. Notice that these three cubes fit perfectly the rectangular prism without gaps and overlaps. If this is the case, the volume is equal to the capacity. Now, take a look at this diamond. This diamond occupies a space. Therefore, it has volume. But, is there a space inside it that can be filled? None. Therefore, this three-dimensional figure has no capacity. So, it means all three-dimensional figures have volume. But, not all three-dimensional figures have capacity. Let's dig deeper into that. All these objects here have volume. All three-dimensional objects have volume because all three-dimensional objects occupy space. But, only three-dimensional objects that have spaces that can be filled have capacity. So, this means three-dimensional objects that are hollow. The basic unit of capacity in the metric system is liter. Volume is the product of the object's length, width, and height. Hence, volume is commonly expressed in cubic units. Example, this is a rectangular prism whose length is 4 cm, width is 6 cm, and height is 5 cm. So to solve for the volume, this is the product of the length times the width times the height. Let us substitute our values here. So 4 cm times 6 cm times 5 cm. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 6 is 120. Cm times cm times cm or 1, 2, 3 is cm cube or cubic centimeter. Here is the conversion table for volume. 
So the hierarchy of unit in liter is the same in meter. So from liter, one step going up is times 10. So we have 10 liters and we call it decaliter. Another step going up, that would be 10 times 10. So we have 100 liters and that is hectoliter. 100 times 10 is 1,000 liters and we call it kiloliter. From the base unit going down, 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 and that is deciliter. 0 0.1 divided by 10 is 0 0.01 and that is centiliter. 0 0.01 divided by 10 is 0 0.001 and that is milliliter. It is also good to note that 1 kiloliter is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. And 1 liter is equivalent to 1 cubic decimeter. While 1 milliliter is equivalent to 1 cubic centimeter. Let us continue. So I have here units and their corresponding symbols. Since this is cubic, notice that the exponent is 3. Now for the equivalent, 1 cubic meter, 1, we can also express 1 as 10 raised to 0. Because any number except 0 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Now, going up, this will be 10 raised to the third power. Going up again is another plus 3, 10 to the sixth power. Going up, another plus 3, 10 to the ninth power. Now, from the base unit, going down, this will be minus 3. So, 10 raised to negative 3. Another step going down, this will be 10 raised to negative 6. And another step going down, this will be 10 raised to negative 9. Here are common instruments used for measuring volume. This is a graduated cylinder. It is commonly used in laboratories. This is a beaker. It has measurements, so you could measure the volume. But the primary use of this is for mixing chemicals. In the kitchen, we can use measuring cups for dry ingredients and measuring pitcher for liquids. Like in land, we can also convert volume from one system to another. Here are common conversions. Some of these conversions are rounded off for easier conversion and approximation. 1 teaspoon is equal to 5 ml. 1 tablespoon is equal to 15 ml. 1 fluid ounce is equal to 30 ml. 1 cup is equal to 250 ml. 1 pint is equal to 0.47 liters. 1 quart is equal to 0.95 liters, and 1 gallon is equal to 3.8 liters. Now, let us approximate some of the measurements we mentioned. The amount of liquid you can put on a teaspoon is approximately 5 ml. For a tablespoon, it is 3 times of a teaspoon, so it is 15 ml. 500 ml is the usual medium size of bottled water you can buy on a store. Twice of this amount is 1 liter. 5 times of 1 liter is 5 liters, and it looks like this. And 4 times of 5 liters is approximately 5 gallons. Another base unit of the metric system is gram. It is the basic unit for mass. Mass measures the amount of matter in an object. It tells how heavy or light an object. Here are some of the instruments used to measure mass. This is a weighing scale we commonly see in the market. This is a hanging weighing scale. I usually see this one in weighing meat in the wet market. For small quantities, there is a weighing scale like this that we can use. To measure our weight, we can use bathroom scale. This one is a platform balance. It is a laboratory apparatus used to compare weights. The conversion from one metric to another for mass is the same with length and volume. Here it is. The only difference now is the unit. This time we have gram. Earlier we have liter and meter. Let me just add one more. The metric ton, denoted by a small letter T. It is equivalent to 1 million grams or 1,000 kilograms. To give you some idea of the mass we discussed, here are some measurements. A paper clip weighs 1 gram. The small size of butter weighs 100 grams. 1 4 kilo of sugar weighs 250 grams. 3 medium-sized mangoes is 500 grams. 
So twice of this number, meaning 6 mangoes, is approximately 1 kilo. 1 kilo in English system is 2.2 pounds. A small size car is approximately 1 ton. Now we are going to have an activity called Let's Be Realistic. After giving you an idea on the length, volume, and mass of objects, let us approximate the measures of the things I'm going to show you. First one. Which is the realistic size of a giraffe? Is it 5 millimeters, 5 centimeters, 5 meters, or 5 kilometers? Let us recall our reference object for millimeter. That is the thickness of your ID card. Do you think 5 times of this thickness is equal to the height of this giraffe? Definitely not. Now, for the centimeter, our reference object is the width of the paper clip. Do you think 5 times of this width is equal to the height of the giraffe? Of course not. For the meter, our reference object is the walking cane. Do you think 5 times of this length is equal to the length of this giraffe? Hmm, possibly. Now, for the kilometer, one length of football field is not even a kilometer. This is just a hectometer. So it means we need 10 times of this to create 1 kilometer. And since this is 5 kilometers, we need 50 times of this length. That is way too long. Therefore, the correct answer is 5 meters. Number 2. Which is the realistic weight of the milk in the feeding battle? Is it 250 ml, 250 liters, 250 milligrams, or 250 kilograms? Since this is liquid, then milligram and kilogram are not appropriate units of measure. Let us recall our reference object for 1 liter. This feeding battle is not even 1 liter, so definitely not also 250 liters. So the correct answer is 250 ml. Next one, which is the realistic size of San Juanico Bridge? 2 millimeters, 2 centimeters, 2 meters, or 2 kilometers. Millimeters and centimeters are way too short for a bridge, so definitely not these two. For the meter, our reference object is the walking cane. Twice of this length for a bridge? Too small, definitely not. So the correct answer is 2 kilometers. Bridges are usually 1 kilometer or longer. Another one? Which do you think is the realistic weight of this necklace? Let's start with ton. Our reference object is a small size car, so definitely not 8 tons. For kilogram, we have 6 pieces of mango. So 8 times 6, 48 pieces of mangoes for this weight? Of course not. Now for the gram, our reference object is the paper clip. Milligram is dividing 1 gram into 1,000 equal parts. That is almost a negligible weight, so definitely not 8 milligrams. So the correct answer here is 8 grams. Last one, which is the realistic size of a remote control? 17 millimeter, 17 times the thickness of your ID? Definitely not enough. 17 times the length of the walking cane? Of course not. 17 times the length of a bridge? Definitely not. So the correct answer here is 17 centimeters. Just a recap, here are the common metric prefixes applicable for the base units meter, liter, and gram. So base unit has a value of 1 or 10 raised to 0. One step going up, this will become 10 raised to 1 or simply 10. The prefix of that is deca. In symbols, sometimes DA is used, sometimes DK or capital D. One unit again going up, this will become 10 squared or 10 times 10 and that is 100. Its prefix is hecto and symbol that is a small letter H. Going up again, this will become 10 cubed or 10 times 10 times 10 or 1000. Its prefix is kilo and symbol it is a small letter K. Going back to the base unit, going down, so this will become 10 raised to negative 1 or 0 0.1, a tenth. This is deci and its symbol is small letter d. Going down again, this will become 10 raised to negative 2 or 0 0.01, a hundredth. And this is centi, a small letter c. 
One more unit going down, this will become 10 raised to negative 3 or 0 0.001 a thousand. And this is milli and symbol is small letter M. From the base unit going up, measurements are getting larger. And from the base unit going down, measurements are getting smaller. Notice that units in metric system are all related by a power of 10, which means that each successive unit is 10 times larger than the previous one. There are other metric prefixes, but these are the most commonly used. It is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. I have here most commonly used measurements. We are going to choose the most appropriate for the following. Number one, grain of salt. So we are not going to get the length or the volume of that. So we're going to choose from the mass units. And grain of salt is milligrams. For the bowling ball, this is really heavy. So the correct unit of measure here is kilogram. Pair of earrings, too heavy for kilogram, too light for milligram. So we have here grams. Height of a tower is usually measured in meters. The most appropriate measure for thickness of a book is centimeter. Meters and kilometers are way too big. Weight of a seven-year-old is kilogram. Weight of a dorky, this is best measured in grams. Suggested water intake, we are advised to take eight to ten glasses of water a day. So this is in liters, not milliliters. The length of a national highway is just like the length of a bridge. So this is kilometer. And bottle of vitamin for one-year-old, vitamins for babies have a small capacity. So this is in ML. Gets, we will be having the conversions on part two, and here is the link to it.